In this video, we are going to see about the flow map visual without having any start location or end location names. So let's first understand how exactly the flow map visual is going to work and how we can make it work with only latitude and longitude data. So this is a custom visual where you need to download that from the store and it is going to accept few of the elements like origin, destination, and these should be purely the names of the locations. So I already have a sample data that is just having the cooked data of the eight lines. So that is having some eight line ID, which is completely random. And that is having some start end and locations latitudes. And along with that, I already have the location names so that I can show you what exactly the start location and the end location. So even if I'm not including any of the latitudes and longitudes over here, I can fill this map just by using the location names. So let me pull out the start location and end location here. So I just added the start location and end location here. And let me just pull this out. And I'm able to see the coordinates are getting pointed. So let me also add a filter with the shipment ID so that we can understand start and end locations. And let me also change the color and few of the things to this. If I'm selecting the option as three, it is just showing the names, but I also want to see the city name over here. So let me make few changes so that I can show you the city name. Okay, so here the start location city is London and end location city is Paris. So this works in the best case where you are having the start location and end location names. But in real time, you may not be having those names. You will just end up having the start location and the end location coordinates. So let's see how we can tackle that in that case. Let me just remove up this start location and end location. And here we already have few fields like start latitude, end latitude, start longitude, and longitude. So I'm going to fill those in these particular things. Okay, so if you can see here in the origin latitude, I mentioned the start latitude, origin longitude, I mentioned the start longitude, destination latitude, I mentioned the end latitude, and the destination longitude, I mentioned the end longitude but nothing is actually happening over here. So even if I'm changing the sum to other things like average or anything, that's not going to work. So what exactly you need to do here is, you need to have the origin and destination fields to be filled up. But the condition here is, you are not having any of the location names in the data set that you have. For that, you can make use of the latitude and the longitude to fill up this. And let's see how you can do that. You need to create a calculated column over here where we are going to combine latitude and longitude of the origin location and latitude and longitude of the destination location. For that, let's start with the start location. So here, the main point is while combining the latitude and the longitude data, you need to append the words like lat and you need to get the latitude coordinates of the start location. So you can use the concatenation by using the ampersand and just give a space and let me get the start location latitude. So this is the start latitude. Now I'm going to concatenate that with a long keyword and the coordinates. Now I have a data where that is having the latitude and let me also append this with long keyword over here. Okay, now the format of data is something like that is having LAT and its respective coordinates 
LONG and its respective coordinates. And let me do the same thing for the end location. And now we have the coordinates ready. So let's come to this particular view and I'm going to add those particular columns that we just created to this visual. So I need to add them in this place where I need to add them in the origin and the destination. So let me add the start lat long to the origin and end lat long to the destination. And now you can see we just got the same pointed data which is getting from the London to the Paris with much more accurate pointing. So the basic understanding of the flow map is it is going to point out these particular visuals based on the data that is available in the origin and the destination columns. So you can also check with other things. So let me check with the number four where the expected value is from Melbourne to Sydney. And let me check if that is matching with the start location and the end location keywords. For that, I'm just going to move this to the tooltips. Okay, let me point out here. First start location is the Sydney and end location is the Melbourne. So that's exactly what we're seeing over here. It is the Sydney city over here and the end location is the Melbourne. So this is how even though you were not having the city names or any of the names, you can make use of the latitude and the longitudes to point out the coordinates in the flow map.